Hi everyone on this gorgeous day. This week is Pasha Semar. And we're told in the Torah, chapter 22, verse 28, not to slaughter the mother animal and the baby animal, the child of the mother, on the same day. You shall not slaughter them on the same day. Tishchatu, to slaughter, is in the plural. It means like use you guys should not slaughter them. What is that talking about? The Gemara and Chulin tells us on 82 that if one person buys the mother and another person buys the child, they cannot slaughter those animals on the same day. Even though those people are not related, even though so people don't live in the same town, even if they do it in different places, the mother and child cannot be slaughtered on the same day, regardless if it's the same person or two different people. Now, there's a very powerful lesson here. And the powerful lesson is, is that we Jewish people are connected by the Torah. And how we behave and follow the Torah impacts the other person. At later in the, uh, later on, four verses later, you have a passage, don't make a chil Hashem. But make a kiddush Hashem. Ani Hashem b'kachchem. I am a God who makes you holy. What does this verse have to do with the slaughtering of a mother and a child animal? So it makes it very clear now. The idea is that we create Kiddush and Chil Hashem by our actions, and it affects our brothers and sisters. So if we are people who live in the United States, and we behave in a proper way, they'll make it good for Jews around the world. And the opposite, unfortunately, is true. Because most people don't see us as uh, Riverdalians, New Yorkers. They see us as part of the Jewish people. Where we live in Eretz Yisrael and whether we live in New York. Often I would take my kids many years ago on trips to different parts of the country where there weren't a lot of Jewish people. And I would tell my students, this is the first time many people are going to encounter a Jewish person. They're not going to remember that you came from such and such a school. But they're going to remember, oh, I met a Jewish person and how nice they were, how polite they were. The idea of Kiddush Hashem and Chil Hashem. Our actions connect us no matter where we live in the world. So let's keep that in mind. I wish you a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and a beautiful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.